you going to do the rest for me? Any good with a socket set? Allen keys? Oh. <laughs> right up. Try to play it, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange Got a rue bone, so pretty damn good, I guess Here we are how do you like my rig? <laughs> um, last time in the shed, we were at problems with the motor, and so I'd ordered some bits, and they've arrived. We've got a um, MX4R motor, gearbox bracket, and peg bracket, because I needed one, and some more headset bearings, and some Brake pads and bits and pieces. Oh, and put the camera down. You can guess. I can't see anything specific on here that says eight kilowatts or but um anyway that's what we've got and some um oh buy yourself a decent set of these things because i bought some cheap ones and i snapped one of these balls off in one of the yeah, one of the allens on the bike obviously everything's tight and yeah disaster started um got ourselves some thread lock got ourselves a new front tire because uh, the back one grips up really really well. I'm hoping this will fit on the RST fork. I'll keep you posted It's a um, it's a Maxxis 7019 and on the back. I've got a uh, It's an MX uh, I can't remember it might be MT and this one's called an IH. It's supposed to be slightly narrower um, Anyway, the plan is to put this motor on with my old controller and just see how I go first. Apparently it's more efficient. This I believe is going to require the bypass, but I've got all the bits for the bypass. So five minutes after I've done this, I'll probably, anyway, we'll see, <laughs> you know how it goes. Couldn't wait. I did the brake levers. I did the things that I didn't want to do first. So first things first, I did the tire. I've pulled the controller out and um, disconnected the motor and Hall effect sensor and um, seems to be the one bolt through on this side goes through the gearbox and around on this side I've pulled all the brackets off the, uh, off the motor and there's the gearbox from the other side. MX3 motor and controller on the left, MX4R motor and controller on the right. Um, looking at the specs, both four kilowatts nominal, 
um, 6 kilowatts peak, uh, the motor, 8 kilowatts peak. Like I said, uh, this one's got surface mounted magnets, this one's got interior mounted magnets. There's a lot of... The interior mounted magnets are better. They will handle higher RPM. They are slightly more efficient. They actually turn part of the rotor into the magnetic field as well. Um, they have uh, slightly better heat tolerances. It's a better motor, stronger motor to upgrade to. Yes, you don't need to do it. Um, I'm doing this because I've got some problems with this one. I'm not sure exactly what benefits it will have just with say the MX3 controller. This is one of the things we're probably gonna try and find out. Um, like I said, I'd like to try it with this controller first. The um, physical differences, not much. The white, that's me, that's heat shrink. Um, the bolt pattern for where the gearbox mount is. You've got just a couple of bolts on that one. You've got four on this one. Other than that, basically the same motor appears to be the same pins so we'll also get to find that out but one of the other issues let me just turn this all over okay we're back these controllers there's not a lot of difference in uh, the specs on the back here i'll give you some close-up shots to look at in a minute but what I do want to point out is this one's got a little bit warm and it's obviously something to do with what's going on. So um, I know that last time I ran this, it came up with no errors, but I also know that running the new MX4 motor and this controller is probably going to, not probably, is fairly quickly going to outdo what my BMS and my battery is capable of. So I've got a few decisions to make. I really want to know if this controller and this motor give me a more efficient combination. Yeah, theoretically it should. While we're here, we've got the gearbox in the background. It depends on what sources you check and uh, I've found different things written in different places. Um, you go to Lunar Cycles, it tells you it's a new and improved gearbox. It mentions the mount. Um, it basically says it's a, it's a better gearbox and it also says three to 5,000 miles, or it might be kilometers, but either way, it's a lot um, on the oil change. I went and cross-checked that on the actual uh, MX4R instructions and it says the normal, it says, yeah, do the first oil change at wherever it is 300 and the next one at a thousand and a thousand after that so differing reports on where you look also i believe it was grit shift i checked out their website and there was some internal pictures of both gearboxes that appear to have a the same parts in them uh, nothing extra added and appeared to be the same part numbers from what i could check so the jury's out on the differences on the gearbox. Um, it feels good. Um, I'm gonna have to put the MX4, yeah, it looks like I have to press that one off and press this one on. So I'll put the MX4R uh, gearbox support on and I'll put that new motor in. And I think, as I said, I'm gonna run with this one. Um, this one first and we'll see how it goes uh i do also believe that it's there's a new startup procedure where with the mx4 you actually have to uh pair the motor to the, it's um i'll show you when the time comes i may have to do that first but um that's all for another video i reckon anyway 